Him. Written by Sanna Hartfield. Chapter 3. What the hell was going on? Had he dreamed in the dream? Dreamed that he had come home or dreamed the whole thing? He turned carefully in the bed and put one hand on his back. Hmm. No blood. He managed to open his eyes a little more. He wasn't exactly a morning person and... The house smelled, felt and seemed to be as usual again. He thought, if I have my morning coffee and a cigarette, that solves most things. Almost feeling drunk because he was so sleepy, he managed to find a pair of boxes, but sat on the edge of the bed for a minute so he wouldn't fall down the stairs. Suddenly he was standing in the kitchen, and a thought hit him like a ton of dynamite. The basement door. He turned so quickly that the coffee pot fell to the floor. But oh, it was shut and the key was in the lock. Feeling more and more confused, he shook his head and reached for the coffee pot. Yes, coffee and ciggies. Coffee and ciggies, he muttered. As he was enjoying himself the most out on his veranda, Marcus called. Oh, you idiot, he began and chuckled like only Marcus could. Always as charming, I'm sure. What do you want? I've just woken up and I'm standing here with my coffee and... Marcus interrupted. Last night I was going to ask what happened last night. You were a little more crazy than usual at the Royal, and I saw that you didn't go home alone. How does a dude like you get a bird like Sarah, huh? He began to breathe heavily again. Marcus continued without noticing. Did you go to her house or yours? He laughed. Maybe you just passed out before anything could happen. Now Marcus laughed so hard that he had to hold his phone in front of his face. In one movement, he dropped both the handset, the cigarette and the coffee which burned his legs. He only managed to grunt, Damn! He heard how Marcus continued to talk and chuckle, but ignored it. Now fully awake, he hurried into the house to think properly. He approached the basement door and pressed his ear against it. Not a sound. Slowly, he turned the key, pushed the door and flicked the switch. Sarah, he almost whispered. No answer. He took a deep breath and felt relieved. Just as he was about to switch off the light, he heard a light thump. It felt like a million little bugs crawled up and down his spine. All he could think was, No, no, no. What the hell have I done? He whispered again. Sarah. He thought he heard a faint murmur or a small whimper. For an otherwise rather clumsy dude, he walked down step by step as gently as his cat Gusto.